This is Lonnie Pickle, scientist at Life Technologies. The next area I'd like to focus on is using magnetic beads in both the immunoprecipitation and the DNA purification step. I used to use Sephiros beads in my chip protocol, but a few years ago I switched to magnetic beads, and here's why. Instead of pipetting eight 1.5 ml tubes at a time, here we switch to a system where you can ma magnetize eight tubes at once and also wash eight tubes at a time using a multi-channel pipette, making it extremely easy, faster, and more efficient to use. Magnetic beads, particularly Dynel beads, are lower background binding, which is really important, especially when heading into the sequencing field, where background can cost you time, money, and your precious sample. More and more researchers are switching to magnetic beads for the immunoprecipitation part of their chip. But another great place to use them is during the DNA magnetic purification. So here's why I switched to magnetic beads for the DNA purification part of the chip protocol. Just like with the immunoprecipitation, DNA magnetic beads will pellet conveniently on the side of your tube, again making washing easier, faster, and more efficient. Lastly, but certainly not the least, was the environmental factor. Personally, I didn't want to use reagents that were toxic if I didn't need to.